the last 50 years, we've doubled our population, tripled the amount of food and water we use, and we have quadrupled the use of fossil fuels. Every four days, there's a million more people on the planet. How is the world going to cope with this explosion in population? The UN predicts that by the end of the decade, we will have a population of 10 billion. I am a firm believer that climate change is real, that it is impacted by human behavior. The government has declared most of South America a disaster zone. Extreme drought and massive dust storms have shut down the Earth's entire agricultural system. Too many people, not enough food. In an effort to combat the food shortage, the European Federation has placed the world's future into the hands of science. The development of more resilient, high-yield, genetically modified crops is being fast-tracked around the globe. Shelves once empty are now fully stocked. But the tinkering with nature has created long-term consequences. Across the world, we are witnessing a staggering spike in multiple births and genetic defects. The solution? is now feeding the problem. It is the biggest crisis in human history. Political activist and renowned conservation biologist, Dr. Nicolette Kamen has prompted the Federation to institute a one child per family policy called the Child Allocation Act. We are one human family sharing this earth. Today, together, we make history. The Child Allocation Act is the first vital step towards preserving our planet and making a better future for our children. New legislation has been swift. Checkpoints have been erected across the nation. All citizens are required to wear a bureau-issued identity bracelet. And from this day forth, illegally conceived siblings will be remanded to bureau-enforced cryosleep. Children are more than just children. They are the future. With cryosleep, we'll make sure your child rests peacefully, humanely free from hunger, safe from harm, while we work to build a better, brighter future. Cryosleep. Awake to a better world. I know there's maybe a lot of resistance, but with a one-child policy, it may give us some time.